Okay. It's working. Let's play video game. Yugi and his friends found Joey, but it was too late. Joey's soul had been taken by the Orichalcos. What's going on here? Don't you see? Joey must have defeated Valen. Then Mai showed up. She did this to him. I'm sure of it. That's true. However, there's only one person we can blame for all this. And I think I... I think you know who I mean. He hides safely in his fortress while the others do his dirty work. Well, not anymore. Yugi arrived at Darts' fortress. Paradeus headquarters. And found an unconscious Mai. Mai, say something. She must have been in a duel. and appears she lost. Both the duel and her soul. I must put an end to this. It's about time you showed up. This doesn't concern you, Raphael. I'm here to see darts. Is your master so much of a coward that he sent you to do his battles for him? Not quite, but first, why don't you take this? It's the Claw of Hermos, Joey's card. So you're the one who defeated Joey, aren't you? Actually, Mai beat Joey, then I defeated her. But why? Mai was on your side. I never trusted her, and it turns out I was right all along. After she took Joey's soul, she turned on us. Biggest mistake she's ever made. Wake up. Can't you see your so-called Master Darts? It's just using you to satisfy his own selfish needs. If you really want to save the world, then stop fighting me and join my side. As soon as the Great Beast is revived, I'm afraid your side will no longer exist, Pharaoh. All it needs is one strong soul. And the Seal of Orichalco shall take care of that once I take you down. The winner leaves a free man, the loser becomes a prisoner. You're on! If that's what it takes to take my to set my friends free, then let's duel. And once you're out of the way, and go straight to darts. Alright. Yeah, I just read all that one time. Found out the recording was erroring again. And so I read it again. Uh, I'm gonna go first. Take two, baby. It's only Awaken the Dragon Arc. Has anyone ever really sat down and said, This is my favorite part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, I think it'd be a good idea to set you down. Card of Sanctity. Banish all the cards you control in your hand. Minimum one from each. Draw until you have two cards in your hand. Well, let's save that for now. So one on the field and one in my hand for that to, for that to work, huh? Let's activate Pot of Greed first. Pot of Greed. No, I'm not going to chain that to it. Why would I? Turn Endo. Yeah, it's recording properly now. Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. What's that? Angel Girl. My weakness. You drew the effect. Activated the thing. Hang on, let me read this. This card's always treated as a Noble Arms card. The equipment monster gains 500 attack when this card is sent to the field to the graveyard. You can target one guardian, Eidos. It gains 500 attack for each banished monster. Now, isn't this the card where, due to its own wording, it actually can't combo with Guardian Eidos, if I'm not mistaken? I remember that being like a massive meme about how the Guardians are crap. Yes, it doesn't work. Uh Puts you at a thousand? Why would you do that? I can just sacrifice and put Dark Magician Girl on the board now, then. Uh, I have Tamias. Hang on, what's the requirements here? Dark Magician Girl, Dragon Knight. The card looks cool, so I gotta summon it. Dark Magician Girl plus a Dragon Monster. Must be fusion with the material or with Eye of Tamias. Once per turn, quick effect, you can send one card from your hand to the GY, then target one face-up card, destroy it. Dragon Knight, Magician Girl. Um, kind of wanted to attack into this, but he's not dumb enough to do that. You can just summon Dark Magician Girl and get rid of it. Because I have another big shield I can put down. And play the animation. Okay. No, I don't want to MST. We don't need to MST. Wait. Now I can activate this? Why? Hang on. With a warrior. Okay. So if I did this, then I can put the, the bow on Dark Magician Girl. Hang on. If this card is special summon, target one other face-up monster on the field, equip it to this card, or equip this card to it. While this card is equipped to a monster by this effect, negate the first effect activated by your opponent. Equipped monster can make a second attack during the battle phase. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I have Tamias. One monster you control. Wait, what? But, but what, are you, what are you talking about? Oh no, can I not use cards from my hand? Using is material. Alright, well, I guess now I'm stuck doing it. Whoopsie. Wait, how am I able to make this? The spell card counts as it? Alright then. I didn't realize that's how it worked. I guess I misread it. Put you there. You succeeded in doing that. I, I didn't realize that I, Tamias, let me skip the dragon part. I still I thought I still needed a dragon monster. I guess it counts as it. Send one card to your hand. Target one face-up card in the field. Destroy that target. I can still do my battle phase that turn. All right. Throw away Karibo. Okay. Let's go to battle phase. I thought I was making the... I thought I was making the bow... All right, so far so good. Yeah, I need Claw Haramos for that. That's fine. Turn change. Oops. I accidentally clicked out of the window. I didn't mess up the recording, did I? Graceful Charity. Monster Reborn. Oh, no. Hidden Armory. Hmm. He got rid of Seal of Orichalcos. Swords are revealing light. Well, I have a plan for that. Okay, then. First, let's get rid of them swords. And first, let me activate Graceful Charity. One, two, three. Um, what's this do? When a monster is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, discard your entire hand and target one of those monsters. Eh, I'm not gonna do that. And Summon Skull can just go there. And now I can activate- no, I can't. Enter field of the graveyard. Okay, I can't do that then. If that's the case, activate effect. I'm just gonna get rid of this because I apparently I'm not gonna use it. My body is a shield. Your opponent activates a spell or trap card that would destroy a monster on the field. Pay 1,500 life points. Negate the activation and destroy it. Well, goodbye, Dark Magician Girl. Now I can activate this. Send one monster from your hand or field to the GY. A Mr. Fusion Monster, Claw, Haramos. That card is your special summon. That Fusion Monster from the extra deck. You can only activate one Claw of Haramos per turn. But now I can't, and I don't want to do that, because I got nothing on the field to equip it to. So we're just going to put that down, and we're going to end the turn. Monster Reborn! No, don't do that. Stop that. You cut that out. That belongs to me. Wait, why wouldn't he take Dark Magician Girl the Dragonite? It's because I'm the one that properly fusion summoned it. The opponent can't do that. I might die now. Yep, I'm in trouble. Big trouble. I just lost. Well, now I know he has a spell card that is specifically designed to mess up uh, Dark Magician Girl. Or, sorry, the Dragon Knight Dark Magician Girl. Let's hope for that Miracle Draw. I know I got Pot of Greed in this deck. King's Knight. When this card normal summoned, while well, you control... Okay, that's not gonna happen. I can't really use the bow for anything, other than, like, a body. Goodbye, soul. Yeah, I know that to revive monsters, they have to properly be fusion summoned or synchro XC summoned first, but I didn't realize that applied to your, your opponent, right? Or, no, wait, I think Dark Mag Magician Girl the Dragonite specifically had a must-be fusion summon clause, didn't she? That's probably it. Oh, well, it's first thing in the morning. We'll learn them words. Pick something. 
second to go. He didn't activate the seal. I didn't lose my soul. That means no ad break this time. All these monster reborns would have been nice earlier. Hurry Bandit during the end phase. This card was normal summon. You contribute this card. Excavate the top five cards of your deck and you can add one spell or trap to your hand. I don't really want to do that at the start. Let's just use a graceful charity for now. One, two, three. Okay, let's discard you. And uh, I'm gonna get rid of you. Now then. Monster Reborn, then Claw of Hermos for the bow. But then he'll bot my monster next turn, right? Maybe I should wait on that. Ooh, okay, maybe the first move should just be this. I'll do it next turn. And when it happens next turn, we'll see. Guardian. He just summons it for free. Look at that. You have no monsters in the graveyard. You can special summon this card from your hand. Send one of your equipped spell cards, equipped to this card to the graveyard, and target three monsters to your opponent's graveyard. You do, this card gains fire attack for each monster banished by this effect. All right, then. So no protection on that, which means... I almost just clicked Curry Bandit by some stupid mistake. It's fine. Put Dark Magician down. Alright. And now I want to play the Claw of Hermos. Mostly to make sure I understand how these cards work. And, okay. I'll take this out of my hand. And let me see here. When this card is special summon, target one another face that monster in the field, equip it to it. When this card is equipped to it, negate the first effect your opponent by act uh, during the battle phase. Alright, that's what I want. It really doesn't matter, it's gonna get equipped. But now we have the other issue. Of dealing with that thing. Hmm. My brain just remembered these two tie, so what is my... I'll just attack the face-down monster, then crash it into it. <laughs> that was a bit... That was a complete waste. I thought I had a way to boost. Hmm. I can always just immediately bring it back. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a big deal. First this Guardian KS uh what? Where's my second attack? Well this card is equipped to a monster, negate the first effect during each battle phase. After that the Oh! Only if a card is activated. I thought I just got two attacks in general. Well Missed that part of it. Let's just put magical hats down. How about that? How about we do that instead? only get the second attack if they activate an effect, well then they're my opponent's just not going to activate an effect then. <laughs> Alright. No, I don't want to activate that. I don't need to do that. Hmm. I'm just going to crash it into his guardian now. No, 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 no don't do that. <laughs> We're both blocked. That's okay. Mmm. Let's summon his turn. Alright. It's a good thing he's playing Guardians. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. End phase. He can't attack, but he just keeps bringing that thing back. Well, they really want me to summon Dark Magician, don't they? Keep bringing it back to crash it into the Guardian. Honestly, I will. <laughs> I can't not like I can bring back Dark Magician Girl Knight. This one's a bit of a mess, but 
I can still win this, because apparently Yugi's deck is just loaded with spell cards here. <laughs> Alright, we're both gone. He's the one still losing life points. I'm making him spend his resources by doing this. That's fine. I have Tamias. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for this. 4,000 life points, I'll take it. Bring out the Dark Magician. It looks like he's kind of got a messy hand as well, and he can't do much. So I'm just gonna spend all my life points to do this. <laughs> I can only do- I know I can only do one Dark Magic Curtain per turn, right? And I can't, um... Yeah, you can't summon or act- or summon other monsters a turn you activate it. But you can set. Okay, let's see what he's got next. Draw phase. Alright, Graceful Charity. Good. Maybe I can get activate a fusion here again. Okay, I want that in the graveyard. Oh, you're level 5. That's gross. Get out of there. And now I can activate this to summon. Alright, so what's the benefit of this one? Must be fusion summoned with the eye of Tamias. If the card is special, summoned. Target any number of spells in the GY. Banish those targets if you do. This card gains 1,000 attack. Well, that's why Yugi's loaded with uh, spells right now. For each card banish. If this card is destroyed, you can just target one spellcaster monster in your GY. Special summon that target. Alright, let's bring out the fancy Dark Magician on a dragon. That's literally all it is. Wish cards like this would get fancy summon animations. Put it in the extra zone. Me select up to 11 cards. Why would I not? Select them all. Let's see. Yeah! Banish them all. 4,000! Okay, ba, 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 ba. I guess I'll set this for now. Now, if he has man eater bug, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna be real upset, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Guardian, four thousand attack. Remember, chat. This isn't dark magician. This is dark magician on a dragon. That makes it like cool. It's like whenever Mario hops on the Yoshi, he gets instantly more powerful because of that. He can take more hits. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Now, let's see if I can get away with doing this now. Ah, we tie. Of course we do. Of course we do. And now he gets a guardian. Whatever. Amulet dragon. Mario doesn't take more hits. Yoshi does. Oh, there's Sio or Kalkos. Oh, I'm scared. Dark Magician Girl. Hmm. Would it be a bad idea to summon this? Yes. I could probably just finish him off, but... What if it's Mirror Force? Then I lose everything. I kind of want to just go for it. I want to rely on the fact that he hasn't gotten good cards so far. Please don't let it be Mirror Force. Please just let me do this. <laughs> it's either going to get clean or get real messy. Or rather messier, because this whole duel has been a rocky... Okay. A rocky mess of me, like, uh, not understanding how legendary dragon fusion wor fusions work. And I won. Can you imagine if it was like Magic Cylinder in the last one? 
Darts fed you lies, and in a moment of weakness, you allowed your heart to be consumed by the dark magic of Orichalcos. But I could tell that the real you was still in there, fighting to break free. I knew what I had to do, force you to face the darkness. You're right. Thank you, I get it now. Everyone I turn my back on is still here, and they'll always be with me. Hey, the seal's gone. Where'd it go? Doesn't it usually put on a big green laser show? Yeah, and it usually takes someone's soul, too. So how are you still here? I'm lost. I have a theory. The Seal of Orichalcos is powered by the darkness within the person who plays it, but Raphael was able to conquer that darkness. So my soul was spared. I'm free. Wow! Darkness in your heart and all that crap. A duel with darts. Let's go, chat. <clears throat> After defeating Raphael, Yugi finally met darts face to face. Darts. You are expecting someone else? Well, due to the carelessness of my employees, I'm the only one left. You can't find good help these days. Look, I want my company back, so can the small talk. Is that so? Well, guess what? We all want something. As for me, I want your souls. For the last time, release our friends. That's not possible. What do you mean? I mean, they've already been put, put to use. As we speak, their life energy supplies power to the most devastating creature that ever lived. Oh, great. Now what? My 10,000-year-old collection is almost complete. Once I get yours, my beast can rise. Hold on. You've been collecting souls for all these years. Do you know how many lives you destroyed? Haha, <laughs> millions. So some of these people lived in the past? Now you're catching on. Ever since the great Leviathan, Leviathan was laid to rest, I've been gathering the energy necessary to fuel its rebirth. Come on, you expect us to believe that junk? Ye of little faith, just duel me and I promise I'll make a believer out of you. For when you lose, there'll be no denying my power. This was like the episode, I think it was like a dub only thing. But doesn't darts have a monster that literally has like infinity attack points? Or some bullshit garbage like that? Second ago. <laughs> I summon a monster with infinity attack points. <laughs> Here it comes. Dark Valkyria. It was in both versions? Okay. Yugi just gets all of these cards now. I can play Mirror Force Dragon. Let me see here. Tamias the Knight of Uselessness. Rocket Hermos Dragon. Uh, Mirror Force Dragon. Must be special summon with the Fang of Critias using Mirror Force when monster controls destroyed. Blah, blah, blah. Targeted for an attack or an attack by an opponent's card effect. You can destroy all cards your opponent controls. Well, my opponent's not going to do that if they have a brain. <laughs> Why would they? This card is treated as normal. Oh, it's a Gemini. Sorry, I was scared for a second. Let's kill. Let's put it out of its misery. You can't fuse a trap card with a monster card. I just did. I love that line. And now let's go ahead and activate this. Oh, well, I don't need multiple copies of these now, I guess. And I guess we can just set this thing. Oopsie. Attack. Standby phase, main phase, oh. Well, Dark Hole doesn't target. <laughs> Even I know that bullcrap. Well, goodbye, Karibo. <laughs> of course. All the I put Mirror Force Dragon down, and it's like, nah, uh Dark Hole doesn't target, doesn't work. <laughs> Legendary Knight Tamias. Well, I can activate this to summon the bow, can I? Hang on, let me see here. Time Magic Hammer must be special summoned. Using a Spellcaster monster, can't use that. I only have a Warrior. And a Warrior monster. This card special summoned. Target one other face-up card in the field. Equip this card to it. It can make a second attack during the battle phase. But I can't really use this because I these are equipment. 
Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. That is so cool, but I can't use it. I'm kind of... Yeah, I, I kind of in a bad spot. <laughs> I want to summon a monster first, then use Hermos to equip to it. But if I use Hermos now, I'm just basically just putting a body on board to block one attack. Because these things do not have the defense to do anything. In fact, hang on. Does it... Let me check here. Target one of the face-up monster thing. Okay, so here's the thing. If I summon if I summon them with Hermos right now, I'm gonna have no choice but to equip it to his monsters. It doesn't say target my monsters, it says target a monster. I don't have a choice. So that is an extra bad idea. Let's definitely not do that. Dark Valkyria. There we go. I'm getting destroyed by a Gene Warp Warwolf. Part of the underdog. The power of my friends gives me crap. Well, I can summon the Spellcaster one, but... What's that gonna do? Nothing. Have no choice, tar- My hand does nothing but help my opponent. This is sad. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> can we get Fs in chat for this deck? That is such a hilarious, like, way the cards are worded. There, it seems like Hermos cards are fall into the category of just win more. Because if I... I can't start with them, I'm only going to help my opponent. Set Obnoxious Celtic Guard to protect your life points. Mm, gee whiz, thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot for that info. That sure is helpful. I appreciate that a lot. What do you mean you didn't draw it? You're supposed to top deck it. You're an anime protagonist. You cheat. You cheat in everything. Um, you know what? Let me go second, because clearly I'm going to have to get a lot of cards out of my deck here. No Aura Calcos. I didn't lose my soul. That means no ad break. Oh, goody. I've got Bane of the Magnet Warrior. That hand was already obnoxious. Yeah. Summon Skull. Whoa! Let's activate Pot of Greed. One, two. What do we got here? Legend of Heart. Pay 2,000 life points and tribute a warrior monster. Banish the... Banish up to three legendary dragon spells with different names from your hand and or GY. If you do, special summon that many legendary knight monsters with different names from your hand, deck, and or GY. You can only activate one Legend of Heart per turn. Now... If I recall correctly, I believe that this ultimate nut Dragon Knight is absolutely awful and no one ever wants to use it, right? I'm pretty sure that is. Anyway, I need to get rid of his back row. That one. Oh, good. And for now, let's set this. Maybe I can bring out Summon Skull next turn. He really set Dark Hole for some reason. But okay, I'll take it. Mage power. Don't do not do that. He, okay, I still actually managed to survive that. So I can bring out Summon Skull and crash it into that fella. I probably should do that. Ooh, Legendary Knight Hermos. That's cool. It's not Joey. Alright. Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna have to crash Summon Skull into this guy. Because if he summons more monsters... Or, no, sorry, plays more Spell or Trap cards. That's how, that's you. I'm thinking of United We Stand, not Mage Power. I'm gonna have to give up my resources to stop him from getting the Super Boss. That's why he played Dark Hole Face Down, because he was planning for that. Yeah. Turn Endo. Seven colored fish. Darts has normal monsters. And... Okay, then. Turn change. I got this, but now I can't summon anything. All I can do is put it down. Heck yeah. Now, this game is fun. <laughs> it's just, um... I actually do own some of the legendary dragon cards. Like, I bought some of the, like, uh... They recently released, like, boxes for it. 
and I and I picked up some, but I haven't like put together a deck out of them because you know they're the legendary dragon cards. <laughs> but they do always they do look fun. Like uh, Critias right here, I kind of like the concept of like the Doom Virus Dragon and the Mirror Forest Dragon, but I don't. I'm pretty sure the dragons are awful, very awful cards by today's standards. And once again, Hermos is here to help my opponent win, so I can't do anything. <laughs> it's great. He's got a Gemini Monster, Venom Cobra. He's really attacking me with the 100 attack points. I think I just lost. Yeah, I just lost again. <laughs> oh. Hey, chat. Do you remember how, like, at the start of the arc... Oh, set up Noxious Celtic Guardian. I believe there's a scene where Yugi sees, like, the dragons, and they're, they're turned to stone, and he has to pull, like, a sword out of them to turn it normal. With a hand like that, I'm pretty sure those dragons are already made of stone, because that's about all they're good for. <laughs> Story deck. They really want me to win with the stuff that happens in the anime, so they just kind of bulk your deck with, the, like, a lot of unnecessary stuff. Too many copies, and you end up unable to do crap. I'm gonna go second, because I want the draw, because of that. <laughs> Legendary paperweights. <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> like, um... Even if you want to use the dragons, if, I, if I'm understanding this right, you never want to use them together. You want to build the deck around one of the three. At least that's what I think. Like, yeah, I actually own copies of Dark uh, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Probably not an amazing card, but it'd be fun to make a deck around that. Uh, and now we got to deal with this. That's a great great time to start. Hermos to help the enemy. Well, let's bet it all on this, I suppose. One, two, three. Oh, goody. Obnoxious Celtic Guard. I can finally play. I'm gonna get rid of Hermos. Uh, do I want to... I think I want to save Tamias right here, because I can use Dark Magician Girl with that now. Not right the second, but I'll uh, get rid of one of these. Hang on, what's the conditions? Let me reread re this. One Dark Magician you control... Dark Magician Monster you control, sorry. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists that monster in the field as fusion material. Using this fusion material, you can only activate... So why can't I use it right now? What am I missing here? Dark Magician Girl plus a Dragon Monster. Okay. So yeah, I, I need, actually need the Dragon Monster. Amulet Dragon, I don't. That's, uh, that's the thing that tripped me up earlier. So let's go ahead and set this. The game told me it would be a good idea. And I think I'll activate this for now. One, two, three. Um... Uh, I feel like I should save Karibo. Am I playing Exodia now? That's what this feels like. Legendary Knight. One, two, three. Nah. Turn Endo. Let's do this. Seal up. Why did he set it first? <laughs> Why did he set it first? Is he still act trying to activate Mage Power with it? I think he is. Imagine if he had a Piercing Damage card. Wait, what? The tips lied to me. Well, I'm kind of in trouble again. <laughs> Yippee, I'm having fun. I'm going to save the world. <laughs> it really is. does seem like the final battle decks are the worst ones of all. Wow. You know what would be really cool in this deck, Yugi? Magic Cylinder. You'd win in a, an instant. All right, what do we got? As if you don't have enough paperweights in this deck. You put this in here? What is wrong with you? Do you want to save the world? I think you're- I think Yugi's trying to throw right now. What is wrong with him? Why would he put Valkyrion in a three dragon deck? This is ridiculous. Oh no. Um... I can't really do anything. Look at him. Look at this card. It's got 7,300. I'm pretty much dead. 
he doesn't have any spell counters. Um, once this card is... You place a spell counter on it. Okay, he can't put another one on. You can remove a spell counter, so I should be fine. But I can't, there's no point in even summoning Karibo. He'll just destroy it. Discard from my hand. How about Legend of Heart? I can't even Monster Reborn this thing. <laughs> Valkyrion is just the insult in here. Look at all these cards I can use. <laughs> I think I should have just tried to go for a Legend of Heart, but I already discarded too many things for it, right? If only you had Magic Cylinder instead. Yeah, goodbye. I lost. <laughs> I'm definitely lost. Hang on. If I use it on... If I use Karibo on this one, I I still technically have a chance. Valkyrion is like... I have to tribute all three of the Magnet Warriors from the from your hand and or field. Wait, is that, an, is that an updated thing? I thought it had to be on the field. That's still not very good at all. Like, that's awful. Ugh. You can tribute this card to bring them all back. Why would I want to do that? And, oh, thanks. It's another copy of Critias. <laughs> oh, just kill me, darts. Just kill me. Yes, he has a, he has uh, two mage powers on the field. And or Seal of War Calcos. And because of Seal of War Calcos, even if I did summon a monster, I had to target the highest powered one. Were you always able to tribute them from the hand? Thanks for the tip. All right, let's do this. I'm ready to duel. And by duel, I mean I'm gonna lose and then pick up the top card in my deck and be like, I would've won if I could've gotten one more draw. That's how real duelists do it. I swear, like after today's stream, I should just like get out my legendary dragon cards and make a deck to duel like Andrew with. <laughs> That'd be fun. Ooh, Mirror Force. I get the feeling this is going to be more useful as a trap card instead of using it as, uh, you know, fusion. Now what do we got? Mm, I can bring it out right now, actually, and just... Maybe that's a good idea, because apparently I need to get rid of Valkyria. I should save... I should save Mystical Space Typhoon. Maybe I should set it in case he activates Mage Power or something again. That might be a good idea. Let's do this. This is worse than Pegasus. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, in both cases, I still have very little idea what I'm even doing, but... <laughs> in my defense, that obnoxious Cel Celtic Guardian was not a good defense. And... Let's see what else I can get. Let's play this. One, two, three. Um, discard one of these. I kind of want to save Eye of Tamias now for the Amulet Dragon stuff. Play another one. They really want me to be able to draw, because they know how many dead cards are in this deck. Uh, whatever. One, two, three. Now let me see here. Pay 2,000 life points and tribute one warrior monster. Banish three legendary spells. Your different names and your hand or GY. I kind of feel like I should try and go for this, even though it's not very good. Because I have so many pieces for it just shoved in my deck here that I'm, I might as well just try. I don't need you. But, hang on. Legend of Heart. Different names from your hand, deck, or GY. Okay, so it's safe to just throw this in the graveyard. And... May as well put this in attack mode just to get the thing. I might take some damage next turn, but I can accept that. I gotta play aggressively, chat, before he summons Exodia. <laughs> Better than nothing. I'm playing so many copies of Graceful Charity. I'm scum. I'm trying to play, play Exodia now. There we go. Face down. Have they ever made, like, an, an archetype around, like, Celtic Guard. I feel like that'd be like the perfect oper perfect monster to try and do something like that. Instead, they just make like a new version of it every like seven years. Mirror Force. 
Ooh, I could keep Celtic Guard in attack mode and bait him to try and attack it. Oh, I can use Legend of Heart. Hmm. But I only have one. Should I just... I think I should just do it now. I doubt... He doesn't have, like, Maneater Bug in this deck, I hope. Okay, no. Banish another card. Yes. I think I just picked the one in my hand. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. I misread the symbol. Select monsters to special summon. Um, okay, good. I, it wouldn't let me multi-select, so I was just worried I did something wrong there. And that's as many. Okay. Got two because I had two. Let's see. You can target one face-up spell or trap card in the field. Banish that target when this card is targeted for an attack. You can target one trap card in your GY. Set that target. It can be activated this turn. Special summon Legend of Heart. When this card is special summon, you can target one face-up spell or trap card in the field. Banish that target. So this is just the deal with his back row shenanigans if he does that. Target one spell in your graveyard. Set that target. All right. I should be good to just, like, obliterate him now, I hope. So many doesn't have, like, Morphing Jar or some crap in this deck. They're all the same amount of attack points. Ooh, he's wide open. What are you doing? Hey, what's that? What's that? Orakalkos Shinuros. Wh wh what? What is that thing? This card cannot be normal summon set. If a normal monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card. A thousand attack for each monster your opponent controls. Face up level four more normal, or normal monsters cannot be destroyed. Wow. I don't like him. He really just did that. <laughs> well, I have Mirror Force. If he wants to attack me, let him. Fine then. I don't care. I don't even care. Okay. Heart of the Underdog. Um, I don't need to MST that. I need to MST, like, an attack booster. Oh, yuppie, Alpha's here. Hang on. Reach monster your opponent controls. Uh, yeah, I can't summon more things now. I can at least take down his face-down monsters, right? Venom Cobra. What is that description? Hard scales cover all parts of its, this gigantic cobra. It hunts by shooting out massive amounts of venom. But because of its large size, its attack pattern is easily predicted. Wow, just insult its 100 attack there. And now we play the waiting game. If I can just get rid of one of my monsters, then he won't have the attack. Is that the monster that's supposed to have, like, the infinity attack points in the, uh, in the anime? Oopsie. Clicked out of the game by mistake there. Queen's Knight. Good thing I wasn't drawing these earlier. That would have been bad. That would have been embarrassing. No. Imagine if there was a real card that, um... <laughs> actually worked like that. You know what's funny is, like, apparently at some point in, like, uh, the trading card game's history... There was, like, a promotional version of, uh, the Seal of Orichalcos printed, and, like, um, I think it has, like, more, like, the actual anime effects printed on it. It actually has, like, uh, the, the stipulation that says something like, if you, if you win the duel, your opponent must give you their soul. And it was just, like, a promotional thing that I think only employees had a few copies of, and... <laughs> I remember seeing a bunch of comments of people that were, just, that were just like, man, imagine calling a judge over when your opponent refuses to give you their soul. <laughs> I just I just was cracking up at the thought of that kind of situation. That sounds funny. You've seen it? It is funny. Judge, my opponent won't give me, give me their soul. The card clearly states I need to have that. <laughs> it was more like a joke card that, yeah, only a couple employees got. Um, I think it was the English edition. I still can't really do nothing, so let's just continue this, uh, 
kill his face down monsters until I can find a way to get rid of mine. I'm gonna deck out at this rate. Loser dies on the spot. I mean, I could crash one of my monsters into this thing, but they're all cool and shiny, and I'm never going to see them again, but I probably should just do that. Because apparently I'm drawing nothing but vanilla monsters that suck. Now he probably put... Hang on, I'm going to MST that, that back thing there. What was it? Call the Haunted. Alright. Let's get rid of Tamias, because he's the lame one. Alright, now he's at 2,000. I was hoping I could just draw something that would let me uh, do do a different tactic. I wouldn't really care about the life points. I kind of just wanted to keep the monsters, because why not? All right. <clears throat> boop, 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 boo. And there it is. If you lose the duel, you lose your soul. If you die in the game, you die in real life. Shadow Delver. Alright, there we go. Easy win. Okay. You win. You lose darts, your 10,000 year quest is finally over. It can't be. I've come too close. All I needed is one more powerful soul and the great Leviathan will rise from the depths of the earth. Too little too late. Our duel comes to an end. Now release the souls of my friends and everyone else you held ca captive. Grr. Darts failed to capture Yami Yugi's soul. <clears throat> but Dar Darts merged his own soul with Leviathan to revive the beast and said, Powered by the light of his friends, Yugi retrieved his stolen Egyptian god cards and defeated Darts and his Leviathan once and for all. Y'all, that's summarized in a text box. Cool. Hey, look, I guess the gods did pull through. Told ya. That means everyone Darts captured is free. Is it really over? Yup, we're safe now. Let's hit the high road, folks. I'm sure there's someone else trying to take over the world back home. You know, the scary thing is, he's probably right. Yep. Yeah. We did it. And, oh, I'm at the final duel for Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, they really jump around a lot. Now that the Pharaoh saved the world, there was one last thing he had to do. Move on to the afterlife. Guided by Merrick, Ishizu, and Odeon... The team went to a sacred underground temple that housed the gateway to the afterlife. To open the door, the pharaoh had to seal away the Egyptian god cards and the seven millennium items, and have one final duel, a ritual duel against Yugi. The duel would determine whether Yugi could now stand on his own, as his own man, and not need the pharaoh's help anymore. This is the first time in my life that I've hoped for my opponent's victory. But in order for this duel to truly test our readiness to separate, I must fight with all my strength. Pharaoh, now that you left the Millennium Puzzle, I can't hear your thoughts anymore, but somehow, I still know what you're thinking, and I feel the same way. If you taught me anything, it's to put your heart into your deck and duel with everything you got. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. Yugi doesn't really do anything, does he? Except in, like, uh... Dark Side the Dark Side of Dimensions movie. That movie is pretty wild, by the way. I've seen it. There's, like, a scene where regular Yugi is, like, talking to Kaiba, and he, he like, insists on dueling some guy before him. It's, like, in the middle of, like, a, a big Colosseum duel event. And just, like, little Yugi's just like, are you gonna let me duel this guy, or are we gonna have a problem? And Kaiba's just like, alright, man, fine. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. I love that moment. And, okay, block golem. If all the monsters in your graveyard are Earth, you can tribute this card to target two level four or lower rock-type monsters in your graveyard, except Block Golem. Special summon these targets, but their effects that activate on the field cannot be activated this turn. Alright. Catapult Zone. Once per turn, if a monster you control will be destroyed by battle, you can send a rock-type monster from your deck to the graveyard instead. Sure. Duke doesn't even exist, that's right. Hmm. Imagine stepping on a block golem. Oh yeah, that's not good. It's got like crash man arms. Hmm. 
Silent Swordsman, level 3. Negate your opponent's spell effects that target this card. During your standby phase, you can send this face-up card to the graveyard. Special summon one Silent Magician level... Or Silent Swordsman. Why did I say Magician? 5 from your hand or deck. You cannot activate this effect to turn the card to summon or flip face-up. Hmm. Okay. Why would I be able to do that, though, if it activates during my standby phase? I guess it's just to prevent weird clauses. So I could just summon this, and then... Put it down the swords, why not? Let's give it a go. Yugi has a weird thing for rock type monsters. Remember that being a thing in this duel. Here we go. The tricky. Level monster gimmick. The king's knight. Standby phase. Level it up. I like how it says level up, not activate the effect. Give it the full. He's got a giant sword. Unaffected by opponent's spell effects during your next standby phase. After this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack. You can send this face-up card. Special summon silent swordsman level 7 from your hand or deck. Or I could just use level up. <laughs> how about that? Chad, I like that idea. Do you like that idea? Let's activate rare candy. Why battle? Who needs experience points? It cannot be normal summon set. It can only be special summoned by science or level 5. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. I just did it by another way. Negate all spell effects on the field. Oh. Alright then. <laughs> Wish I knew that before I summoned it, but here we are. Does that mean the timer stopped on this? I'm actually not sure how that works now that I think about it. Block Golem. Well. Now I'm not going to have only Earth Monsters there, huh? May as well just put this in and set it. How did they handle splitting their deck in two? Yugi just gets all the old cards or different ones. All right. Look at that giant sword. It's so cool. End phase. I wanted Dark Magician, but I wanted that one, Yugi. Uh-oh. Well, I can get rid of his spell cards, but... Those are the pink ones. Silent Magician. That's the one I was thinking of at first. Each time your opponent draws a card, place one spell counter on this card... This card gains 500 attack for each spell counter put on it. During the next standby phase of your next turn, after the fifth spell counter is placed on this card, you can send this special summon Silent Magician level 8 from your deck. That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen without the level up card. I'm sorry. I don't know who they think they're fooling with that effect. Have they played their own game to know that that will never happen? Do I attack, or do I not attack? I'm gonna go for it. Why not? Alright, no mirror force. Good. I'm safe. It's a bluff. It's a bluff. Alright, still counts up. One upon. put it down because I'm gonna look real stupid if this don't work. It's working. Oh my goodness, it's working. How is this working? Yugi is so childish. What does one upon even do again? You can special summon this card. It was added to your deck to my hand by card effect. Yeah, okay, whatever. The tricky... It doesn't matter, I just beat him. Okay. Wow, I just won. Congratulations, well done, Yugi. 
You achieved a great victory for us both. I was focusing so hard on playing the game that I forgot that winning this duel would actually mean, by defeating you, I've sent you away for good. No! You've opened the door for me. Thanks to you, my spirit can finally be at rest once again. I'll be back where I belong. Fate brought the two of us together for a reason, and we fulfilled our destiny. We've produced mankind, or sorry, protected. Why did it get produced? From the return of the Shadow Games. Oh, no, you didn't, my good sir. The, it, the world gets much worse. And we've both grown tremendously along the way. I'm gonna miss you. You do realize we'll never truly be apart, right? The gift of kindness you've given me and the courage I've given you will remain with us. And that will forever bind us together. Right. Now that battle... Now that battle ritual is complete. Now that the... Sorry, that was weird. I think there was a mistake on that. I accidentally clicked, sorry. Time has arrived! Tell the eye of... What's his face? Your name. I am the son of King Aknam Kanan. My name is Atem. There you go. I'm sure I just butchered his uh, father's name, but that's okay. Alright, so now we have the reverse duels to do. We're at 50.7. How do you get 50.7 when I haven't done any reverse duels, right? I guess the, I guess the tutorial doesn't have a reverse duel. So is it ever ever... Is it ever, like, established that Yugi is, like, the Pharaoh's, uh, long-lost relative or something? Or, sorry, ancestor? Why did I say relative? That's, that's a bad way of putting it. Um, because you can't tell me that their hair is just coincidentally exactly the same. Anyways, we can do any of these. We gotta get them out of the way, though. Let's start with... where is he? Let's do an easy one. <laughs> Isn't it he's that a reincarnation? How can he be a reincarnation if the soul is still there, though? The Pharaoh's soul is still in the puzzle. How can how does it reincarnate then? A second ago. Now I'm the one with Exodia Pharaoh. <laughs> They're not related, they both just got the wacky hair. Uh, don't worry, I know we can't do anything. Don't, 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 oh, he did. Alright then, Buster. Ooh, got it back! Swords revealing light. Ooh. I know I'm guaranteed a piece back, but it'd probably be better to take swords right now. So let's do that. And we'll set Reckless Greed. And make sure I activate it after my draw phase. We're gonna draw like mad. We're not we don't need to first turn Exodia. Okay, draw. Actually, no, I'll activate it now. And with Reckless Greed, even though I activated two of them, it says next two draw phases, so I'm still skipping only two of them. Like, not four. That's not- it's, it isn't how it works at all. Alright, we need to use upstart. Red eyes. I have that thing. Okay, I'm gonna get one of the hands back. Which one was it? Right arm. Okay, so we need the left arm. Show me left arm. No, no, not that. Uh, no, not that. Darn it. How did I get two of them next to each other like that? Are you serious? <laughs> well, now that I have a defensive monster, it's not a big deal. Now we wait. He's got red eyes from beating Joey. Yeah. Yeah. Now I gotta deal with that. 
All right, then. No pot of greed or graceful charity for me. This is a first for Seeker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red Eyes is just like a paperweight in this deck. I don't need it. Mm hmm. Oh no, what's he doing? It's, oh, it's, it's Burfamet. What am I gonna do? Oh no. Oh no. Idiot. Double battle damage. Beat him down with red eyes. <laughs> Not even worth doing that. Unless. Why not? <laughs> Might as well do something to make this duel exciting. This Exodia's got four legs, but one arm. This sounds like a specific thing. It would be an achievement or something. Beat Yugi with Seeker's deck by killing him with red eyes. You'd be more likely to get Exodia first, honestly. It's like that thing in Punch-Out Wii where you have to lose to Glass Joe for a mission. I think that's in the game. What are you doing? What is he doing? Has he lost his mind? He really just did that. What's wrong with this man? I'll put swords down, because why not? My hand's getting full. He's throwing. You have to lose to Joe by decision. Wow, you have to convince the judges that you're that bad. And it looks like playing swords was a good idea. And he, is, uh, he sacrificed. The achievement would be like, assemble the five pieces of Exodia on your field. Ooh, that'd be difficult. Oh my, <laughs> spider Exodia right here. Halfway through the deck. <laughs> Look at this, Exodia. The, 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 the something one. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I'm not gonna put the chain strike down because uh, he's gonna, or sorry, I'm not gonna put the mon any of them down because he's gonna chain strike it. Let's get rid of one of these feet picks right here. I'm surprised that in 2021 Ryu-Gi-Oh, they haven't made like Exodia an anime girl archetype yet. Don't pretend y'all wouldn't buy that. Oh, finally. Give me that arm. Oh, I just won. I just won, but... I don't want to throw away anyway. Oh! The game crashed! <laughs> the game just crashed when I played Exodia! Are you serious? He obliterated the game! <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool, hang on. Let me, let me get it back. <laughs> let me get this back. <laughs> The game couldn't handle that many legs on the Forbidden One. Alright. Okay. Let me just... It's back. Do I have to do that again? It didn't count as a win, I'm pretty sure. Battle City begins. Oh, yeah. I, gotta, I have to win again. <laughs> the game couldn't handle it. That's why he's the forbidden one. He crashes the game. <laughs> oh, now he's going second. Maybe the game got confused because I had way too many pieces. Well, let's try this. Let's move with Exodi on the first turn. Oh boy, extra hands. Just what I want to see. Graceful Charity? Okay, that's good. There's the head, but... Graceful Charity sounds like a better idea at first. Okay. Let's take Draw Power first. And let's try and remove extra pieces, just in case that happens again. One, two, three. 
And I got the head anyway, so take get rid of the arm double. I don't need that. Now we need them feet. One, two, three. Don't need that. Don't need that. Am I gonna first turn Exodia? Let's do it. Let's do it. One, two. Okay. One, two. Ooh, come on, give me one more foot. Ooh, that's not the right one. I have too many hands now. Don't catch these hands. I'm one piece away. I almost just I almost just won on the first turn. Oh well. <laughs> oh, come on. Exodia FTK, your opponent doesn't get to play the game. That was close. Yeah. Yeah. Upstart Goblin. I get one more draw out of this. Ah. So close. <laughs> I can't believe the game crashed. That's hilarious. The game couldn't handle Exodia. Like, I, I want to be mad about that, but it's it's just too funny. Dark Hole. Well, I don't need that. I could just summon Red Eyes again. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, summon Red Eyes. I was so close to winning in the first turn, now I can't get it. <laughs> that would have been sick. Looks like all the... Hang on, I need the right leg. That's what I need. Yeah, I thought that would happen. That's okay. I had to do it anyway. I, if I can't put the... I, I don't want to put the extra pieces down in defense mode, because he'll activate Chain Strike. And then he'll remove the other, all the pieces from my hand and deck, and then it's useless. Yeah. Okay, it didn't crash this time. Good. Good. <laughs> Remember, chat, if your Exodia has four legs, the game can't handle it. <laughs> there we go. All right, that's one down. 52%. Let's beat up Yugi's Exodia deck. Let's go. Are you guys ready to win with Rude Kaiser? I'm not. Or I will be from in an hour from now when I finally win. Link Evolution has crashing problems. I do remember having some issues with it on Switch. Um, I also remember that I actually had a few instances with some effects when I was playing like the Pot of Greed archetype monsters, heavy quotation marks. Um, if you activate them in a certain way, you can actually soft lock the game. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even, like, memeing. You can actually set it so that the game will ask you to activate and select a target or something, but the game won't let it happen. I think I posted something like that on my Twitter, like a video clip or something, but that was, like, so long ago at this point. Anyways. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I'm gonna play the other series, too, but we're working on reverse duels. We're gonna work our way up because they introduce more summoning mechanics, or GX just becomes more fusion focused, really. So I could summon this in defense mode. But yeah, it would be good to start with that. Let's see what we can do here. Gift of the Mystical Elf is pretty worthless. Yeah, they give you ancient rules in these early games to... Or, sorry, early duels to make up for the fact that in the show they could just summon them without tribute. Of course. Of course. Let's hope we don't get Exodia. Uh, stop defense. Well, that's not going to help me now, is it? Swords of Revealing Light kind of ruins my plans, so we got to wait. Jaden's story decks, I remember, are kind of all over the place. Really all over the place. 
I think like towards the end, the uh, the final ones where the DLC duels, they let them use like some of the other hero cards, like the future ones. Ooh, Hitotsumi Giant. I love this thing. I love how useless it is. And let's just put this down. My life points are not going to matter, so I may as well activate this like now. Oh, thanks for the gift and sub there, friend. Appreciate that. Heart of the underdog. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't don't do that. Oops. Hang on a second. Let me just activate that. Wow, he's uh he's really going all in here, isn't he? Oh dear. I'm just gonna let him. I'm just gonna let him. I don't need the shadow spell anything yet. Not unless he summons like Dark Magician or whatever. I actually remember making a deck with some of the manga cards that Jaden has, like uh, Elemental Hero Heat. And now I can just summon this in defense mode and be safe. But, you know, thanks, Swords. I kind of don't really have a chance to do anything here. I can Shadow Spell, but... The, the problem with Yugi's deck here is that he has Exodia, and I have, like, crap. Because this is meant to be a tutorial when you're playing as Yugi, kind of. Almost like a tutorial. The tutorial, actual tutorial was before this. Turn change. I'm getting life points back so I can keep up the stall. Add a level 5 or higher normal monster from your deck to your hand. Even if I can't play it, it's a deck then. Oh wow, Rude Kaiser. I definitely want him. I'm just gonna take this. I don't really want to summon Judge Man right now. That wouldn't really be the, w the victory I need. I'm just gonna see it. Just wait a little longer. He's almost halfway through his deck. Not quite. Oh, yep. Yeah, this was out what I was waiting for. Dark Magician. Rude Kaiser. I say I still say any old card can be made into um Hang on a second. Any old card can be made into an archetype. Just look at Thunder Dragons. They should just take like any old card, like uh yeah, Beaver Warrior for crying out loud. How about Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress? In fact, how about we actually make find out what this fortress even is? It's still funny how he's like, uh, number one. No one cares about the number two one. May as well set this. Give myself lots of life points. Remember, play aggressive. I gotta fix my hair here. Heart of the Underdog has activated. Would you like to activate card? Yeah, I'm just gonna activate this, because why not? Yeah, life points. Oh, no. Yeah, he's got to have Exodia by now. No, not quite. Sword Stalker. Eh, why not? Must tribute one monster. Yeah, sure. It's really hard. I remember this one being a bit annoying because you just you kind of just have to keep poking at Yugi's life points because his deck is just built to stall, more or less. Like an early, really early game stall. Should have saved Ancient Rules if I knew he was going to like have a Swords or a Valiant Light, but whatever. It's fine. I can poke at him now, but he's halfway through his deck and I'm... Actually, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Does Yugi in this in this duel have three copies each of every piece? Or is only Seeker do? I think he got it. No, okay. I know he has at least three. Oh, he definitely got it now. Oh. oh no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. <sighs> only Seeker has multiple copies. Okay, so he's got one of each in this deck. Turn change. Why do you keep giving me Gift of the Mystical Elf? What on earth makes you think this card is going to help in any way, shape, or form? Because it's not. It's not. It's not. I 
I may as well do this. I have way more than the starting life points. Right. Regift of the mystical health. <laughs> The fact that he hasn't gotten his last piece. Oh, uh, he wants it wants me to destroy Sangan, but uh, that's not a good idea. <sighs> if I summon this, all best I can do is like bop one of his monsters. Because if I destroy Sangan, I'm probably just gonna. <sighs> it doesn't see. It didn't even matter. Didn't even matter. All right, end turn. I consider this a dead attempt. I really need to get blue eyes on the field. That's what I need. What? Oh, he wants to sand gun me. That has to be it. Yeah. Now every time this happens, I'm gonna be worried about the game crashing. You lose. I got a foot. All right, I gotta swap it every time. Story deck time. Cyber Angel Rash. He doesn't have enough feet to crash the game. The game doesn't even give me tips anymore. Let's go. Ooh, Wasagi the Dark Clown, I love that thing. I love how it contributes nothing. Draw phase. Oh boy, we got an all-star cast in this hand. One trap card in the field and destroy it. It's a card is set. Pick it up and see what it is. Trap card, destroy it. Spell card, return to the original position. <sighs> Who has my highest defense here? Well, actually, he does. The one I can summon. It doesn't matter. All I can do is wait for blue eyes and hope I can poke his life points down in time. Yippee, everybody. It's Rude Kaiser here to save the day. No, 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 no. Oh, my. Crying out loud. Seriously? I wanted to activate this before he... I held down the right mouse button for a little too long. Well, that's a, that's unfortunate. <laughs> well, I got another one, so that's okay, I guess. I was supposed to activate that before he flipped up, but I held the skip button for just a fraction too long there. Well... May as well put you down, I guess. Use your defense. I was kind of hoping to save the flip effect for later when I put it down, but, well, that just did not go the way I wanted. Your opponent declared battle. No. Let him take the damage. Oh, don't, don't do that. No! <laughs> now I can't tribute again. Oh, there's blue eyes. Totsumi Giant. May as well set this so I can sacrifice next turn or something. Something, anything. He doesn't look like he has any of Exodia pieces yet. Maybe one. Yeah. End the battle phase. Let's put Sword Stalker down. Maybe we can do some damage finally. Wow, I'm getting all of these. Let's make it happen. Sword Stalker. Battle phase. Let's take out, uh, what is this thing called again? Grifor? Whatever. It's dead now. I get life points every turn. I'm not worried about that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You just love to do everything. You don't like what's on the field? You just flip the whole table. End phase. Alright, he has at least the head. We know that for sure. 
And I don't have a fusion, so that's not gonna happen. I have nothing I can do. I got Rude Kaiser and two blues. He's got some serious draw power there. Oh boy, my other favorite pink card. End phase. Turn change. Ancient rules? If he's got Mirror Force, it's not gonna be good, chat, but with how this- how these decks are built here, I don't really have a choice but to just go for it. Now, don't I? Let's do it. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, okay, that's- that's acceptable. I'll take that. Next turn, Yugi. Next turn. Uh-oh. He gets two free cards. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go! This is like playing against your- oh, come on. Like playing against your friend on the playground. I draw three cards at the start of my turn, that's how it works, right? And I didn't get a good one, I'm gonna draw again anyway. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yugi just, like, picked up half his deck to use. Now we're in trouble. Stop defense. I don't think that's my issue right now. <laughs> oh, I got nothing. Oh, poor Kaiba. His story decks are just awful. Oh, here we go. He's got a lot of cards in his hand now, don't he? I might be in trouble. Oh, don't you dare. La Jin, the mystical genie of the can't beat a blue eyes, so it doesn't matter. May as well summon it. <laughs> I'm just going to activate this now, because I can. Yeah, 500 points of damage. What are you going to do about that, Yugi? Nothing. That's what you're going to do. Oh boy, he gets three cards now, because he's got a Rude Kaiser. He's activating the special effect of Rude Kaiser, chat. He still doesn't have it. Now, was that really necessary? You didn't need to do that. <laughs> he doesn't even need Exodia to beat me. That's how bad this is. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Man, how did Yugi's grandpa lose? Seems like Kaiba doesn't know what he's doing. I'm pretty sure the only way this deck could get worse is if it was actually using this starter deck Kaiba from like 2001. Ooh, I got a draw card. Grappler. Imagine being the world champion in universe and your one of your ace cards are Rude Kaiser and Grappler there. That's cool. Wall of Illusion. Turn that monster to hand. Hmm. Let's get some cards on the field. Dispel. I can use this to see what his face down is. Now that was a good play. Hmm. Now I can use this to guarantee I'll have a sacrifice for Rude Kaiser next turn. 
I don't want to give him any resources whatsoever, so I should just attack with Grappler. I mean, the problem with Sangen is that its effect activates when it leaves the field and gets sent to the GY, and there's nothing in these old decks that's going to let me, like, circumvent that. I have to just, like, I have no choice but to bite the bullet and just let it happen when he does that. He's gonna get a piece of Exodia when he plays this thing, and there's nothing I can do about it. Because I have no way to, like, really damage him without getting rid of it. Alright, I was gonna say, if he had all five pieces right now, that would not have been happy for me. I'm pretty sure the old Kaiba starter deck didn't have ancient rules. Yeah, I'm gonna activate Shadow Spell, because I don't want him getting rid of my Tribute Fodder here. Battle Ox. Hmm. With Nick Since I still have this down, I could just summon Battle Ox and wait for Blue Eyes to sacrifice two monsters. I think I like that idea. Plus, it seems like poking for damage is, like, what I should be doing, like, absolutely right now. Oh, he's got Karibo. I keep forgetting that's even in the first part. Whatever. Even first duel. Okay, then. I think I might be able to do this. Ooh, Judge Man. This is, sounds like a good thing to get rid of, um... Grappler for. Let's do that. I might have a chance at actually beating him now. He got a bad opening hand. Oh. Well, alright. At least I have the attack power to get rid of it, but no damage this turn. That's a problem, though. He's only, he's only picked up a quarter of his deck. Hopefully... I can do this. Oh, yeah, alright then. Or that could happen. And now he's gonna play Dark Hole before it goes away. And now we play the waiting game, because I'm pretty sure Kaiba doesn't have MST. He's gonna get Dark Hole, for sure. Um, I didn't expect him to actually want to attack. I don't want to give- I don't want to waste, uh, my trap card on that. I'll put Soggy down, how about that? Ooh. Tribute one dark monster, your opponent takes no damage, look at your opponent's hand, all monsters they control, destroy the monsters among them with 1500 more attack. That's not gonna get rid of ex- rid of- wait a second, if I use this, this is gonna make it easier for him to draw Exodia. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That is not a good idea. I should put Wall of Illusion down. All I'm gonna do is thin his deck. I'm not worried about his monsters above 1500 attack. <laughs> That's not my concern at all. Oh no, attack me. <laughs> it's, yeah, this is the errata version. All the cards are updated to, like, uh, modern. Well... At least to a certain point. I'm pretty sure... I don't think they update this anymore. Special Summon Lejeune from your hand. Alright, that's not gonna happen. Set this for now, because we're still dealing with swords. Once those swords are gone, baby, I'm gonna show you some swords. As long as he doesn't draw Exodia. I know what that is. Okay. I know what you're saying. Crush card probably could have killed this, but it still would have helped him draw Exodia better, so I don't care. Yeah, all right. This card is attacked by a monster after damage calculation, so I can't just crash it into him. Aquamador. As soon as swords are gone, now he has a slightly stronger monster here. No, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. I need blue eyes, and I need it now. Oh, this is painful. I'm not gonna use the crush. I'm not 
Gonna use the crush. I need blue eyes. I'm not gonna thin his deck out for him. Oh, that's painful. Oh, come on, blue eyes. I, I, I actually, you know what? This is good. This is good. I can use this on Gaia. Let me see. Wait, he might sacrifice. Wait for battle phase. He could sacrifice it both for Dark Magician, so I'll we'll wait and see if he goes to battle phase first. Okay, he's doing that. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we use Shadow Spell. Yeah, Crush Card would have gotten rid of all that. Don't you see that? <laughs> it's too late. Sword Stalker. Look at that. Um... This is crap. I can get rid of Summon Skull. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what would be cool? If Kaiba had some sort of signature monster that was really powerful and had more attack points than Gaia the Fierce Knight. If only I had something to do with all these monsters on my field. Like, maybe I could sacrifice them. Battle phase. Yeah, I'll take that damage. Luckily, he can't seem to get his Heart of the Underdog strategy going. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. At least I know with the wall here, he can't attack it. If he does, he's going to get rid of Gaia. Hmm. I need, I need to hope I get blue eyes. Please give me blue eyes. Please give me blue eyes. I've been good this year, Santa. Oh no. Yeah, take 800 damage. Uh oh, he's got it now. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Why? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, no. You get. Oh, no. all right. This isn't good. This is very bad. No, 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 no. Mm hmm I may have just lost. <laughs> I guess maybe I should just use Crush Card next time. Did I even have a dark monster to tribute? I'm not sure. I probably did at some point. Well. <laughs> I sure am glad I got Rude Kaiser here to summon. It's not even a dark type, so I can't use it now. Rude Kaiser stands no chance. But I can do 800 points of damage with this sick move. There you go, man. I'm gonna help you build that puzzle. Soggy the Dark Clown is like the only reason he has it. I may be in trouble. What card could I possibly draw to turn this around? Do I have a dark hole? Maybe. Wow. Wow. Whoopee. I lose. Oh, just draw Exodia or finish me off. <laughs> no tips. How can I do this unless they give me tips? That's ridiculous. How can I be expected to figure this out? Yeah, it's a ghoul. He's got like a hippo nose. Let's do it. Is Kaiba's deck to design to even be able to win? 
All right, maybe I can get a tribute. The issue is I can stop Yugi from building up resources, but Yugi seems to have like three copies of Dark Hole in his deck, and that thing is a painful to deal with. Um, he's already got first heart of the underdog. I can attack into him. That's at least something, right? I gotta get that damage as fast as possible right away. Can use this to protect and then summon Judgeman next turn. Hopefully that'll bait him into summoning something weaker. Decent start. That's all I can do. Tip. Draw better cards. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? This is the crap I put up with. At least he wasted on Grappler, of all things. Ooh. I can Special Summon and Normal Summon. Or do I save it for Blue Eyes? Or I could do, like, over 3,000 points of damage at once. I'm gonna go for it. If I've learned anything from these old duels, is that if you think you can wait a turn, you're not going to wait a turn. Your opponent has a banned card they're ready to abuse. Let's summon the Judge Man. Believe in the heart of the cards. Kaiba doesn't. He has no face downs. He's wide open. Oh, he had Karibo. Alright, that's fine. Giant Soldier of Stone. I know what he just put down. And I know what he just put down again. I can actually beat over Giant Soldier of Stone, but... Um... Great. Well, here's the thing. He's... Uh, I'm kind of afraid to put my stronger monsters down, because, you know, he could possibly just use Dark Hole again. So, let's wait. Great. I'm pretty sure Kaiba has no back row removal in this deck. He doesn't even have a single MST. Oh, he's got Summon Skull. I know, I know what's coming now. I couldn't do anything. But I have Shadow Spell exactly for this. Summon Skull was so ridiculous back in the day. One tribute for Dark Magician attack power. Let's just keep putting these things down. Wait for those swords to go away. Assuming he doesn't get Exodia by then. Yeah, D-Spell, sorry. You are correct. I did have D-Spell earlier. D-Spell is kind of just a... It, I mean, it exists, I guess. I could combo these two together, but... I don't want to set this, but I want to save this. Hmm. I'll set it for now. Let's wait. If he could just get rid of those swords, I could finish him off. Come on. Are you serious? Really? Really? Okay, guys. I end my turn. Because I don't get to play the game. No, 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 no. Go ahead, get your Exodia. Why would you steal that? What? 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 Why did he steal the... He's just making fun of me. That's what he's doing. He's making fun of me, chat. You see this crap? You see this crap right here? <laughs> that AI. He didn't take Judgment. He took Hitotsumi Giant. I can use this effect during your main phase. Special summon Lajin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Might as well. And... that's it. Oh boy. He's almost to the halfway point of his, uh, his drawn cards. Drawn cards. Well, I guess I have this, but it can't stop Exodia. It's only a matter of time. He's gonna get Dark Hole this turn now, or play another one. Uh-oh. Don't, don't, please don't, please don't. Oh, no! Oh, 
Oh, no. I got a way to stop it. Please let me draw blue eyes. Please. As soon as he gets rid of the swords, it's always something else. He's the king of stall. Uh-oh. That is not blue eyes. But I can attack again. Hmm. Use this to tone his face down card there. I could just attack and wipe out his back row and stuff. Not his back row, sorry, his monsters. I'll set this for now. As long as I have enough bodies to get blue eyes in case Ancient Rules doesn't work out, but... I'm just really concerned here. Battle phase, let's do this. I can poke him for... Oh, of course. Of course. Never mind. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, I should have known he had that in his hand, but whatever. Ugh. Oh, just put me out of my misery. <laughs> this is a miserable duel for Kaiba. And now he gets to draw three more cards. I think I just lost. He has to gab it by now. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> just play Exodia. I know you have it. He's just picking up his entire deck this turn. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he can't deck out because I have no way of getting rid of Ex getting rid of Exodia in his hand or deck. So that means he'll eventually get Exodia no matter what I really do. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. I really have to get stupid lucky to do this with the story deck, don't I? He had all three Heart of the Underdog, so if he draws a normal monster, he can draw three cards. And if he ends on a normal monster, he gets another one. I'm going second. He doesn't deserve that draw. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a Heart of the Underdog probably isn't, like, legal, right? Because of stuff like that possibly happening. Or has it become so power crept that it doesn't matter? Summoner's Art. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's thin my deck out a bit. And give me that blue eyes. That sweet blue eyes, I needed it. It's limited. It's it's normal, or it's legal, because normal monsters are awful. Yeah, but someone could probably still do something. That's usually the case. All right then, let's do this. Please don't be giant soldier. Please don't be giant soldier. I gotta hit him for damage just as fast as possible. That's the strategy. That's all it is. Oh, it's Mystical Elf. Well, my prayers were answered, I guess. Oops. My life points don't really matter at all. I have Blue Eyes White Dragon. I don't like you. And now my hand is paperweights. Stop defense. Oh, whoopee. Sure, I'm glad I got that on board. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll go one more turn without using that. Because I want to hopefully protect a monster that I contribute for Judge Man. Please, something good. Please, something good. Oh, 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 okay. I'll take that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a we have a game. All right. 
Now, I'm just gonna get these out of the way so they stop prom stop uh, prompting me. This will give me a little bit of life points back, I guess. All right. Now let's hit him for damage before he activates another, like, uh, Raigeki or either another Dark Hole. You know he's gonna do that. You know he will. He's playing defensive. Yes, he's playing defensive, all right. Please dispel. Oh, that's bad. Even if I stop defense, I can't attack him, so what's the point? This is the story of Yugi versus Kaiba, where Kaiba just sits there being like, I guess I don't I guess I don't play the game. These swords are the worst thing. Like I can't do anything to them. He, the so what happens every time is the swords stall him long enough until he gets, like, either Heart of the Underdog or something else on board. Sword Stalker. I can't play any of these cards. <laughs> At least I get my life points back. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> now that swords are gone, he's gonna play another one. Oh... All right, here we go, at my real chance. <gasps> you! The legend said you were gone, but I believed. All right, let's use this to uh, put one of these guys in attack mode. And deal some damage while I can. Of course you had Karibo. Whatever, at least I got rid of the monster. And if he wants to attack me, go ahead. I'll block it with this. Turn change. And now I can summon Judge Man. I don't have to worry about Man Eater Bug here, but I know he has Giant Soldier of Stone. And I have these two cards to hopefully stall for more tributes in case he uses Dark Hole. But man, do I have to clear this field. Oh, crap. Great. Now he's got a piece. Mammoth Graveyard. Oh, no. This could be the one. It could also be the fifth. This hour. Ooh. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a shot. I can do this. I can do this. Come on, let's do it. No, 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 no. I don't want to activate Shadow Spell for crying out loud. There's the soldier. Okay. You are dead next turn, Yugi. You are dead. You have nothing. Dispel. I don't even need that now. Uh, here, am I? Am I confident that Lejeune can finish him off? Because if I use Judge Man or, or Blue Eyes, then I won't be able to land the Killing Strike. I won't have enough attack points in total, but... So let's hope Lejin does, does though. No, wait. Even if I use Lejin, it actually doesn't matter who attacks. I can't kill him. Ugh. Oh, it doesn't matter. Don't play swords. Don't play swords. Don't play swords, you scum. Shadow Stalker for like extra 200. That wouldn't have, or sorry, extra 200 attack points wouldn't really do much. He has a thousand left. Ancient rules. Just to rub salt in that wound. He, chat, he's got nothing but paperweights in his hand. He lost. He has nothing. He's wide open. Poor fool. 
I won because I got stupid lucky, and that's it. All right. We got a lot of duels to go through here. Gosh darn it. How about this one? There's no story for these ones, so we can just pick whatever. Okay. I remember this one being really hard because Kaiba's d cards were terrible. So I should be able to win very easily. Strings. Okay, that could be a good one. Ooh, Medora. If I don't have any fairy monsters in the graveyard now. I can put some in there with this, but what's this? Activate when effect of drawing cards is activated. Both players see the card drawn by the effect and discard them all to the graveyard. Well, I'm not going to want to do that. Put you in the graveyard. Drag down to the grave. Both players reveal their hands. Choose one card from your opponent's hand. Then you discard the chosen cards from the player's hands. And both players draw one card. Let's see. 500 attack. Inflicts battle damage. Gain life points equal to the thing. Send two spells from your hand to the GY. Then target one spell in your GY. Add it to your hand. Hmm. Could just do that now with these. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna be silly and do something like this. One, two, three. More fairy. Need that. Keldo, when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, select two cards to your opponent's graveyard, add them to your opponent's deck, and the deck is then shuffled. And then there's Exchange of Spirit. Both car if both players have 15 or more cards in their graveyards, pay 1,500 or 1,000 life points. Each player swaps the cards in their graveyard with, their de with the cards in their deck. Then shuffles their deck. You can only activate one Exchange of Spirit per duel. Isn't this the one that had, like, a super errata because people were, like, using it for really cheesy, like, like, uh, deck out strategies. I think it is. And now I have a bunch of fairies in the graveyard, which means, yep, we are in business. Do something about that, Kaiba. It was a huge FTK card. Yeah, they rot it, and it has the updated text now. So, oh, no. Okay, it's fine. I'll just summon a new one. Kaiser Glider. Great. He can't attack, the turn he does that. That's fine. Monster that battles with this card returns to its owner's hand. I think I should put this down to get rid of that Kaiser. Before I summon Medora again. Let's do that. So I imagine this card is pretty worthless in this deck now. So I'm not going to use it. Haha! -ha. But I wanted the other one to attack me. Attack, so I can't attack it himself. When monsters tribute summon, trading this card. All right, I should be able to just summon this and beat over him just fine. Hang on, was it 200 attack? No, I'd be at 2300 now. Because only one more fairy monster went into the grave at that point. Unless I crash it into Kaiser Glider, then I'll have enough to beat over him. But what if he has? What if he has Mirror Force? I'm gonna wait a little bit longer on that. Give me a tiny bit. Put more... Put this in the graveyard to boost me. I want to keep Kelbic there. Wow, he actually did that? What's wrong with him? What, what is wrong with Kaiba? What did he do that for? What a silly mistake he just made. Now let's summon this and hope I don't get, like, Mirror Forced. Uh, I don't want to use this just in case he has Mirror Force. Let's find out. Okay, it's safe. Oh, right. End phase. Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh. Well. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 man. Why would you do that? That's terrible for me. Man, how could he do such a mean, mean tactic? 
Direct attack. <laughs> there we go. End phase. Turn change. Draw phase. This thing. Please don't be Mirror Force. Uh, you didn't think this through, did you? All right, then. Attack me, I dare you. Should have put this down. I should have put it down in attack mode. Ancient rules. He's summoning that thing. Now he's summoning this thing. Ooh, you poor fool. Now I just gotta poke him. With literally anything. There we go. Easy victory. Okay, let me go up here. Strings. Oh, you know what? Also be fun to play as Bakora after. Go for the Destiny Board kill. Does Destiny Board have an animation if you win? I don't remember. I don't recall if I lost to it. Did I? That one was a joke. Kaiba's AI was worse than his deck in that one. Don't think so? They probably didn't want to alter it between saying death and final. Even Duel Academy had that. Ooh, I got Slifer. Your opponent cannot select this card and attack target while they controlling any spell or trap cards. During battle between this attacking card and defense position monsters, defense is lower than the attack of this inflict difference. Yeah, yeah, just right piercing, like all the new cards do. Cannot be special summoned except by its own effect. If this card is tributed for a tribute summon, during your next standby phase, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck during the turn you activate this card. When opponent's monster declares an attack on a monster you control, you target one revival jam, switch the attack to that target. Jam Defender. Nightmare Steel Cage. Well, for now, let's just do this. Thanks for subbing there, friend. I did lose to that. The frog is Fred. I suppose it is. Draw phase. One day of peace. Each player draws one card, and neither player takes damage until the end of the next opponent's, or opponent's next turn. Well, I do want that draw. Card of safe return. When a monster is special summoned from your graveyard, you can draw one card. Ah, yes. Super banned. Put that down. And I guess I'll just attack with this. And, oops. Right, I forgot it was level 5. My brain saw level 4 for some reason. That's okay. Um, I don't need to use Nightmare Steel Cage yet. But he could make a sacrifice for, like, Summon Skull. Maybe I should put it down. I can wait. I, I got this active. I'll be fine. All the face downs. Draw phase. Infinite cards. There's no limit to the number of cards in players' hands. Infinite. I'm sure this is a very useless card in actual Yu-Gi-Oh. I guess I'll keep waiting. I wonder, if you use infinite cards and you... Manage to, like, have your entire, like, deck in your hand for this? Can you crash the game? I get the feeling this game is not built to handle that. <laughs> That'd be funny. Can't bring the machine. Journey into your standby phases. Special summon a slime token. Attack position. Not summon any monsters. So I have no choice but to do this. So that doesn't sound like a good idea. Um, all right, I'll do it. 
activate. And now, duh. He's gonna bust your blader, me. I'll put this down for a moment. Don't, don't do that. Yeah. I may be in trouble now. Didn't say it had to be put in attack mode. Apparently it did. Oh, I can't put this in defense mode? Wait, what? Wait, I can't. Oh, because it's the turn it's summoned, of course. Well, that was a dumb idea. I pretty much lost because of that. <laughs> this is not a good card for this deck. Why would they put it there? Because the jam. Hand destruction. Oh. Hang on a second. Each player sends two cards from their GY to the hand. Or, sorry, hand to the GY. Backwards on that. All right, then. Well, it can't get any worse, can it? Nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't good. There's Dark Magician Girl. I definitely do not want to use this. Hang on a second. Only from the graveyard, yeah. I have no choice but to summon it. Oh, that's bad. That's so bad. <laughs> Instantly regret this. I can sacrifice it to flip summon it. <laughs> but, oh yeah, I, I pretty much ruined this attempt. I should not use this card ever. I hope he destroys it. Maybe I can summon... Slifer, but uh, like I'm gonna like sacrifice to set Slifer. That's so so bad. I mean, yeah, I can't. Yeah, you can't set it, so it doesn't even combo with what it's supposed to do. Like, who thought that was a good idea? I literally can't set Slifer, yeah. That's so bad, I gotta get rid of it now. Oh, yeah, I... Just finish me off, Yugi. End phase. Draw phase. Humanoid slime. I don't think I even have anything that lets me get rid of this. Do I? Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play the summon animation. Just finish me off. I'm Robin Zombie. Boo -do -boo -do -do -do. All right, new plan. Use anything except that card. All right, hang on, let me just move this over here. I got polymerization. I can put this down. And now we wait. Send a card. Oh, he just used this one. All right, then. I want to keep Slifer in my hand, because I'm a chump that wants to bring it out. Oh, great. He's doing it again. Hang on. Uh, Dark Door. Only one monster can attack during the battle phase. Uh, I don't really want polymerization, but... I want to draw cards. Revival Jam. Giant Soldier. Right off the bat. What a fool. What a bamboozling fool. 
main phase to call the haunted. All right. This card is drawn by us into the graveyard. I can use this to kill Giant Soldier for now. For now. Hmm. For now, though, I mainly want to get my tributes in order. Nightmare Steel Cage. Okay, that's good. Let's set this. I'm just going to summon this to both test if he's got, like, Mirror Force and to, like, bop one of his monsters. I'm not worried about, like, the damage. Ah, uh, of course. But I already... Wait, why would he activate that? <laughs> I can't take damage. Idiot. <laughs> I don't think the AI knew how to handle that. Alright, then, if that's the case... Do I put Nightmare down now? I've got two monsters, and I want to hold out until I can get, uh, three. Even if it's a Revival Jam. Maybe wait one more turn, because they can kind of survive. Okay. No, I don't need to revive yet. Standby, main... Perfect. I can put this face down. Change defense position. And I should be fine to bring out Slifer next turn. Is he gonna do one? Just, just in case, I'm putting this down. Because he's probably gonna bring out, like, Dark Magician or Summon Skull or something next turn. End turn. I guess he only used Magic Cylinder to stop the attack. Yeah, it was a good idea to play Nightmare Steel Cage, that's for sure. Why is he putting them in attack mode? He's like, he forgot about the cage. Okay, but here's the thing now. Um... One, okay. Two of your opponent's turns. It'll have 2,000 when I put it down. Hang on, let me just double check. This card, normal summon, cannot be negated. When normal summon cards and effects cannot be activated once per turn during the end phase, if this card was special summons into the graveyard, gains 1,000 attack and defense for each card in your hand. If a monster's normal summon or special summon to your opponent's side of the field and attack position, that monster loses 2,000 attack, then if his attack reduces to zero, or destroy it. <laughs> By the time I get to my next turn and this disappears, the Nightmare Steel Cage, I'll have three cards in my hand and I'll be able to, um... Which is fine. No summon animation for Slifer. It's not that important. And I can bring someone back, but only in attack mode, so I should probably save this for something else. Not gonna activate that. Not gonna activate that. <laughs> Nope, no animation for Slifer. Why would they think that? Let's hope they don't crush Steel Cage then. <sighs> okay. No, no, that's fine, actually. That's fine. Oh, we got him. Oops, I skipped activating the effect of that. Darn it, whatever. It's fine. Alright, okay. So, I can still get magic cylindered. It's not a good, a good thing right now. Next standby phase. Yeah, I messed that up. I meant to summon that thing, and I accidentally skipped it. All right, all right, that's fine. Hmm. I'm really worried about... I can still activate it, can I? No, I can't. It said only during the next standby phase. During your next standby phase, yeah. That's not gonna work. There's no prompt to activate anything here. Hmm, I'm just trying to think. 
I, it, I think it'd just be to, better to leave Slifer here right now, because if I try to attack and he has Mirror Force or some crap, that's gonna just... Because I can still get get bopped with Mirror Force. It doesn't say anything about, like, it being immune to that. End phase. Turn change. Raw phase. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me just wait for other cards first. I'll take this, actually. And Dust Tornado. I don't really want you or infinite cards. Oh, great. He's gonna deck out before me. Activate the effect of a card. Not yet. Um... Let me think here. So with the way things are currently set up, he's going to deck out before me. If I play card to save for turn, then then use like this and stuff, uh, then he's gonna start ruining my day. I should just go for that. <laughs> hmm. Cause he literally can't do anything to Slifer. And plus, it would be hella ironic to make Yugi deck out in this duel of all things. If that face downs, that one of those face downs are actually Mirror Force, then it's all over. If I do this, and this gives me piercing damage, hmm. But I know we ain't got Dark Hole now. Yugi's whole strategy is to make me draw cards, but I don't have any of my special effects down, like card to save for turn, to um, pull that off. And I don't want to. Because with, with, with Slifer, he can't do anything to it. And if he summons a new monster, it gets like the 2,000 attack penalty. I will end turn. At least if I can guarantee... At this point, I'm so close to it, I might as well just let him do that. <laughs> Slifer's just standing there, menacingly. If I could actually get the infinite cards now, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, I have Slifer. Uh, let's set this for now, since I don't have infinite cards active. And that's right, there's three copies. What's he doing? He's lost his mind. He's given up. He's just like, fine, I'll attack then. Activate the effect of Revival Jam. Um... No, actually, I don't need to do that. <laughs> now he's protecting himself. That's why. The Dark Door. This would be a good thing to activate now. Just in case something goes wrong. He's going to lose. He's going to lose. I got him. Battle phase. Polymerization. Wow. And turn. I don't need this. Where's infinite cards where I actually want to use it?
second turn. I've got nothing to lose, Yugi. I have the advantage here. <laughs> I'm not going to attack him. That's right. You're almost out. Turn change. Yugi stopped believing, and now he can't win. I guess I'll just set this. Not like it matters. I just made Yugi lose like this. Hilarious, isn't it? Now we can't do anything. His field is full. No, 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 no. Get that thing away from me. I play that, it's all over. End turn. If he plays card destruction, then I might lose, yeah. But uh, we don't need to worry about that because he's gonna lose. He already played his card destruction earlier. He can't even- he doesn't even have an open spell slot. He can't do anything. Activate the effective card, no. That. <laughs> if he already had it set, he would have activated it. Unless this AI is just toying with me. Turn end. Play Slifer in the eyes like, well, I can't win. I give up. <laughs> he can't do nothing. You lose, Yuki boy. Next turn, that is. Wow, infinite cards was the last card I got. Of course, it was on the bottom. Your opponent has run out of deck cards and can no longer draw. That's like an achievement right there. And now this one. Let's win with Destiny Board. Excellent. Ironic. Yes. Very, very ironic. Um... I guess I... Should I go first? I think I have, like, some flip effects I need to get started with this. Card is normal summon turn watch your opponent controls. Can't do that. Can't be normal summon. Must be special summon from your hand by banishing three monster fiend monsters. Hmm. This isn't the best opening hand for this, is it? <laughs> it really isn't. Uh I guess I'll set this for now. <laughs> That's not really a lot I can do. No destiny board start for me. Uh, when he plays the giant soldier of stone in attack mode, you know you're being insulted. I like more sword. Don't, don't, okay. Oh no, Why? that was my best card. How could you? This card is normal summon target once your opponent controls during your third standby phase. After this card's effect activation, destroy that monster. This card cannot be destroyed by battle of the target monsters on the field. Sure, I'll put this down. I can swap it to defense mode next turn. That's kind of a weird effect, but whatever. And that's all I can do. <laughs> Gotta get going. Alright, see you later, Kuda. 
Yeah, I, I know the funny thing you can do with Jaugen the Spiritualist. Like, there's a card called Last Turn, and yeah, that was cool. Where both opponents special summon one any one monster from their deck, and they're supposed to battle. But if you pick this thing, and it says neither player can special summon monsters, that means your opponent cannot special summon, so it's an automatic tie. And I remember that hearing that that was like a problem at events or something. And now we're in a bit of an issue still. Ha. Huh. Just keep putting fiends on the field. It's an automatic win. I thought any other result uh, resulted in a tie. It's actually an auto win, so it's worse than I thought. Man, I love hearing stupid combos that people can do with some of these cards. That pretty much just arise because they didn't, like, think it through when they printed it. Whoever has it, the rule is that whoever has a monster remaining wins after the effect. Oh. Ruling page for last turn is a nightmare. So I've heard. <laughs> there are some cards that I both I just don't want to play them because I know everyone hates them that much. <laughs> but it does sound cheesy and fun to do. Anyways, I could summon this and just put it in defense mode. I mean, no reason not to. But my the entire point of my deck is to pull off Destiny Board, and I can't do that because all I've drawn is monsters. Oh, there it is. Discard. I almost just clicked. Hmm. I don't think Yugi's that big on special summons in this part, though, so Jaugen's not really something I need for this era. Let's set this... And set sand again so I can add something to my hand later. Anyways, let's see. Once per turn, during your opponent's end phase, place a spirit message card from your hand or deck and spell card. Proper order of of I, N, A, and L. Alright, just making sure. Turn endo. Your opponent drew cards. Yes, I will activate the F. We're gonna pay respects. Okay. Now what can I add to my hand? Another sand gun? What about this thing? Choose one trap card from your deck and place it on top of your deck. This is to get started if I don't draw the F right away. So otherwise, I could just keep taking sand gun and loop it to thin the deck or something? I don't know. I see chat spamming Fs and... I'm just like, did I do something wrong? And then I remembered, no, I literally just played F. I literally just made the joke about it a second ago, too. Free card. And I got Earthbound Spirit, but he's got a big monster, so there's no reason to really do that. Okay, I thought I just misclicked a second ago. Yeah, the Japanese version of Destiny Board spells death, and they changed it to final in the English version because they didn't want to scare the children. Because, you know, the word death is scary. Turn change. Battle phase. You poor fool. You just activated my monster's effect. Which lets me get another monster. I really hope Yugi doesn't have an MST. I don't remember. I don't remember what I did to deal with this when I beat him in the, like, last week. When I swap between the artwork of the cards, is anyone else bothered how, like, there's some parts in, like, the lower... Like, the lower right portion of the art that's slightly different. It's not just the letter. I am bothered by that. I don't know why. I, I shouldn't be. But it bothers me. You see it? Look at that. Not, part The top part's also a little brighter. Image viewing software was a mistake. Why did you point it out? Because I want to ruin your day. That's why. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. End turn. I just gotta wait for two more of his turns. Battle phase. Um... Guess I'll just take the defense mode thing. I don't really need to use the flip effect anymore. Let's 
he doing? What's he doing there? He, why would you do that? That's weaker. He's just stalling me. A. I'm putting them in order. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll make more people angry. Okay, so... Wait, is this one? Hang on. Let me just... I can't tell. I think the A and I have the exact same artwork, but the N is in the way, so I can't really... Darn it. Each player draws one card, and that don't really matter at all. One day a piece does mean I win, because he can't... Neither player takes damage until the end. But what if I give him, like, a back row removal? And, like, I'm not worried about taking damage. Oh. No, 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 cut that out, please. Select opponent's monsters to take control. Yeah, brainwash Dark Magician Girl. Wait, what? No, no! You stupid... I can't believe I just did that. Back out, please. Well, now I can't. Oops. Well, now how the hell do I get rid of this? I can just finish him off. I can do that. <laughs> can't believe that. I didn't realize that was going to happen. I just thought, oh, sweet, free monster. Oh, okay. Problem solved! Yeah, yeah, take your life points. The end of the opponent's next turn. Alright then, we'll do it like this. There, now we can't do crap. Boop, boop, boo. No oh, thanks for subbing, friend. And catch that. Alright, now I got the L. And I'm gonna give it right back to him. <laughs> Why would Bakura even have that card? To, f to clutter up his back row. That's just a trick right there. No animation, nope. Awakening of Evil. Master, uh, you know what? I remember this one being obnoxiously stupid dumb with Joey, so this should be easy for me. Easy. We spelt final. I'm gonna go second. What's he got? Boop, boop. Ooh, hang on one second there. Oopsie. Just checking something. Alright, making sure the stream is just working fine. I didn't check it in a good while. Oh, I didn't realize how long I was going. I should probably, like, take a break after this one, shouldn't I? And Joey's got back row. Let's take care of that right now. What was that? Kunai with chain? As I thought. Flying Kamakiri. Destroy by battle, sent the graveyard, special summon a wind monster for the under less attack, base of attack position. Let's go with this for now. Thin my deck out if he wants to help me out with that next turn. Got him. I did not realize I've been going for like two and a half hours. Time flies when you're having fun. Like a moomin, little wingard. It's like the only time Joey has that darn monster for whatever reason. Petite moth. When this card is destroyed by balance to the graveyard, you can just special summon one insect monster with a or less attack from your deck. Alright. Attacks this card. Becomes an equipped spell card. No damage calculation during each of your opponent's standby phase. Increase your life points by that. Put this card in your opponent's deck. Shuffle. Your opponent draws it. Special summon their side of the field. Face up defense position. Thousand damage to them. Face up on the field, you almost your opponent controls become insect type monsters. It really doesn't matter what I put down, because I can't kill him this turn. May as well just do that. Garuzus. Oh, it's definitely old Joey cards. T 
attacks a wind monster. Let's just do that. <clears throat> I want to get, like, uh, the uh, DNA surgery thing and the insect barrier, because then he can't do crap. Cocoon of evolution. Hmm. Don't really have a way to... I could summon this, but don't I need to... This card destroying bonds monster by Veil, special summon insect and monster. I have to tribute a monster for this thing to attack, so... Yeah, not the best option for me right now. Let's just keep doing this. I don't know why I'm not using the cocoon. I really just could. Petite moth. Yeah, we're gonna pull that off. Let's take it. This game doesn't understand how DNA works. Well, it's good enough. Turn change. Draw phase. Another parasite thing. He's not attacking. Now I could summon this now and attack with it, but now he's got all these face downs. Hmm. Kind of hoping I can get a different monster to attack with, so I can bait out his uh, his face downs. He probably has like a bunch of skull dice. Yeah, that, I remember that's what he's got. Probably a scapegoat as well. Can I get like any regular? Oh, insect barrier. Okay, good, good, good. But now I need to turn his his monsters into insect types. Hmm. How about I go try and go for this first? I just want to have a full field before I rely on Insect Queen. It's not a very good thing. Even against Joey's stupid cards. Aha! He went for that. Good. Now, what can I get? Oh, hang on one second. Let me check the field. You can special summon. Okay, so I can put it in defense mode. That's good. Cockroach Knight... Let's just pick it. Let's go. Perfect. End phase. Alright, I'm just gonna summon this thing now. Parasite, Parasite, Cocoon of Evolution. And that's that thing. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, well, I told you he had something. That's why I kept holding out on it, and I just said, ah, go for it. Battle phase. At least this activated. Select position, sure. Panther warrior. Now he's just gonna tribute that next turn. And now I gotta stall again, because I don't have any spells. I've only gotten monsters, except for Insect Barrier, haven't I? Wait. Flip? Oh, it doesn't activate if he attacks into it. I thought, it, I thought all flips would. Oh, whatever. Hang on. Have I seriously not gotten... No, it's all been monsters except Mystical Space Typhoon and Insect Barrier, and I'm almost halfway through my deck. <laughs> I want y'all to realize how awful that sounds right now. Weevil's deck is kind of bad. My, <laughs> my balance of monsters and spells and stuff isn't very good. At least my life points are above the max. I mean, what's Joey gonna do? Summon Exodia? No, he's got... He's got, uh... Battle Warrior. The warrior that fights with his bare hands. Oh. Darn it. <laughs> Weevil's just using Joey strats. Well, I got an MST. Oh, he's activating it in response. All right, then. And now we play the waiting game. It didn't matter what he rolled. He was gonna... His Panther Warrior was gonna beat over the Cocoon anyway. 
he's not getting rid of Garuzus, so I keep getting the life points. Anyways, I finally have this. Now I just gotta declare insect type, and I he can't do anything. And I could probably just poke him to death with this. Hmm. Would that really work? <laughs> I could try. This is like the entire point of this deck here. Direct attack. Turn, end. Okay, declare insects. Where is it? Now he can't do anything. Aha! Destroy them all on the field. With this, I can attack normally, but wait. On the field, that includes my own, so I shouldn't do that. Let's wait in case he does something to my monsters first. But let's also attack his face downs with this. I'll deck out before I kill him with this. I kind of figured that would happen, which is why I'm kind of just time wizard, all right. I've got what I need. What is this hand here? It's just got like this spike like bracelet. It's so funny. It's like Bowser bracelet. He can't do anything. Perfectly ultimate great moth. Amazing. But I kind of used up all that stuff earlier, so it's fine. Anyways. Yeah, I need I need another some more cards. I need all of his cards to be face up more like it before I use the eradicating aerosol. And then I need another monster put on board to attack him. But, uh... Oh, it's at zero. <laughs> you know what? Let's just do it. Let's... He can't attack me. Let's get rid of his board. Mmm, music to my ears. Attack with zero attack. Hooray. Now he's got nothing. But what do I got? Something? This thing. Um, it's very likely whatever he's got isn't that good, but I'm not worried about life points. Yeah, there it is. I have to have another copy of Insect Queen, right? I hope. Now I need it. He can't attack me, but I'm gonna run out of cards if I don't do something. Ooh, let's run out of cards faster, chat. We don't need that. Pinch Hopper, you control us into your graveyard. You can special one insect monster from your hand. Well, that's not gonna work. I can't really use this perfectly ultimate moth thing. I can only just try and get rid of his monsters. Baby Dragon! All right. Ooh. Hmm. I can't really do nothing with this. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna kill all my own monsters if I want to clear out his. That's such a pain in the butt now. Grave robber. Wait, no, no, don't do that. Well, he did some damage to himself for me. Give me the eye and night. I need a big one here. Oh, come on. Hmm. Send to the GY, you can special summon. I if I if I wait, I could combo this to special summon something. Uh for now I can't like do anything. Oh, this is so awkward. I can't like I can't hurt him, he can't hurt me. Alligator sword. Pinch hopper. 
Now, wait, this has destroy all insect type monsters, but it can't. No, it can do that to face downs too, right? It doesn't say face up. But how would they know unless I don't really remember? I don't know the rulings on stuff like that. Would it affect my face downs? I'm pretty sure it can't, right? But either way, for now, I'll just, I'll just set this, yeah. Wait a little bit longer, let his whole field get nice and full, and then take him out. I can't believe how long this one's going. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> really? A little bit longer. Draw phase. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do I have any monsters in this deck? I did at the start, <laughs> until I got rid of them all. Time wizard. Alright then. Well, let's test it, chat, if we can't agree here. All right, face downs are alive. Let's do this. I have to damage him, I'm running out of turns. If he's got mirror force, well, there's always the surrender option, but I need to damage this man. Oh, can't deck out because of Cockroach Knight. Oh, you're right. I never even thought of that. That's a good idea. That is an annoying idea, Joey. Don't do that. Are all my duels going to just be uh, decking out today? Obliterate the sheep. Oh, stop that. Stop that. My goodness. There's no applicable effect for Pinch Hopper. Okay. Bite its face off. In the Blaster Master thing. You're not a moth, you're a petite, like, caterpillar. That's what you are. Okay, well, enter. How about that? Graceful Charity! End phase. Turn change. Draw phase. Assuming I can kill this thing every time, but... Well, whatever. The sheep must be obliterated. Oh, stop that. Cut that out. This man is just... Stop it! <laughs> Let me attack, would you? Well, at least I win now. He guaranteed that I'm gonna just <laughs> trawl, right? He's actually using the dies properly. What is this nonsense? Let's try this again. I'm definitely not gonna wipe out his life points, that's for sure. He is definitely going to deck out for- Stop. Stop that. Stop it. Are there any more face downs I should know about? You got one more sheep left. <laughs> this is very, very dumb, yes. I just wanted to win quickly, but no, we have to win like this again. You activate one more card, Joey. That's right, that's what I thought. Poor scapegoats. Oh no! Oh no, what do I do? Oh no, you got rid of Cockroach Knight and that thing. <laughs> I 
I don't know if Joey even has monsters anymore, yeah. It keeps coming back. He just keeps coming back. Can I finish him before he runs out of cards? Let's find out. This is miserable. I can't even attack with this. <laughs> it's pitiful. Uh, maybe I should put it face down in case he's smart enough to try and attack me. Maybe I can win with reflect damage. That'd be cool. Come on. This knight is gonna save the day. That face down. I better not do anything to me. Direct attack. All right, it's over. Four cards left in his, six left in mine. That was something. <laughs> that should not have. That should not have happened the way it did. So we're at sixty percent completion of Yu-Gi-Oh. Pretty good so far. Um, now it's probably a good point to just take a, a quick little break for the stream. <laughs> this is about a good length to stop for an episode. And I'm going to immediately resume as soon as I do a little stretch and all that. So, YouTube, people seem to really enjoy this game since I started playing it again. I've actually been having fun. Last session of this, I streamed it for, like, nine hours. Like, the first three parts were one stream. And I still want to keep playing this because it's fun. But, anyways, for YouTube, this will stop for you. And then we're going to resume immediately for you, Twitch. So, have a good night. Bye-bye.